All right, everybody, this is Brick Builder here, and today we have a very special video, guys. Today is the Vexter Texture Pack release. Now, if you're wondering what the Vexter Texture Pack is, what it is, this is essentially in the description, you will see a download link, and in that download link will be a folder, and in that folder, there will be seven different texture pack edits of this pack. There's red and white, red and gray, blue and white, blue and gray, green and white, green and gray, and black and white. So hopefully you guys will check the packs out. I'm going to do a bit of a rundown of each pack right now. And right now we're using the red and white pack. And as you can see, it looks pretty darn nice if you ask me. I think it looks pretty good. The blocks are incredibly cool. Pearls, they look pretty nice. I like them. Golden apples, they're red, so that would make regular apples green, just so everybody knows that. It's a little bit different from most packs. The enchantment glint, very noticeable, which I like, because it makes it so a little bit better. We got the enchanted fishing rod. Well, not really enchanted, but um, like it makes an animation, animated fishing rod, which is pretty nice. I like it. The bobber's pretty basic. We got fire. Fire looks very cool. It's a little bit of the darker side, but it looks pretty sick, nonetheless. The bow. Pretty nice, it's got the color draw, you know, like you want, and it's got pretty nice particles as well, as you see there. And here's the swords, definitely look nice for swords, you know, they definitely look pretty good. And then we got water, and we got lava right there, as well as the obsidian, has a very nice basic texture with the red outline around it, which you gotta love. And then these are the diamonds right over here, and then this is the diamond block, which, to be honest, looks like a great block, in my opinion, and could very easily be like checkered with other blocks if you were going to use this pack in some form of a building setting like that looks pretty cool for like a royal base or anything but now we're going to move on to the second pack now we are using the gray and red pack as you see gapples the same bow we got the slightly dark gray bow which looks pretty sick in my opinion we got the save flint and steel the pearls which look absolutely crazy as well as the armor which as you can tell looks pretty nice in this version i probably like it better here Fishing rod, nice as always. The sword, pretty hype if you ask me. Who doesn't like this sword? It's a pretty nice sword shape and everything, so that's a good, cool thing right there. And it is very nice and short, which definitely does help for PvP in my opinion. Short swords make it better to PvP in my personal opinion. But now we're going to move on to the blue versions of the pack. Now the blue and white pack looks pretty sick as well. The diamonds still look super hype, the block, and definitely does go still with the gold, as I showed before. Sword looks great. Armor, pretty nice. Fishing rod, you gotta love it. I mean, the pearl, very nice as well. The flint and steel, I like the blue flint and steel. There's the fire. Fire looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Definitely works. The bow, pretty cool as well. Same with the gapples. The gapples have a really nice shade of blue in them, and I like it. Now, in this pack, the regular apples are red again, which I like as well. We do have the water and the lava and stuff, and you know, Obsidian still has the red outline, and this kind of a unanimous thing between the packs. But now we're going to go on to the gray and blue pack. And here we are with this gray and gray and blue edit, which looks pretty nice. The bow, again, super cool, like a usual. The pearl, again, looks so much cooler. And the armor definitely works. I think it looks pretty nice as well. But yeah, Fishing Rod is animated between all the packs, and the animation looks pretty darn nice. So yeah, we got the dark gray and the diamonds yet again. And also, I like how this texture here is very brick. The, um, the moss stone, like cobble, definitely looks very nice. Now, the lapis is slightly darker than the diamond, just so everybody knows. So you can definitely tell the difference between the two, because that is an issue some people have between packs. But don't worry. That's not a big issue in the Vexture pack. So now we're going to go over to the green packs and check them out. Now the green pack definitely looks very cool as well. As you can tell, emerald blocks are there. And this is diamond. So again, you can tell pretty easily. Sword looks super nice and bright, which I like. The fishing rod is slightly darker, which definitely is something I like in my opinion. I like that the fishing rod isn't that bright green because it probably would be a tad bit annoying. And we got the bow, which looks great as usual. Gapples, which look good. Regular red, you know, regular apple. Pearl looks pretty nice. And the buckets are also changed color, which definitely work, in my opinion. As well as, if you do want to check out the hearts and stuff, that's what the hearts look like. That's the hot bar. And those are the armor bars. As well as, it's just a completely transparent gooey. But now we're going to go 
in it to the next green and gray pack. And as you can tell, green and gray looks pretty darn nice. So as you can see, there's the bow, which looks very sick. We got the gapples, which are the same. The nice little fire texture. There we go. Looks pretty nice. And we got the pearl as usual. And that's what the fire texture looks like when you walk in it. That is what it looks like. See, not too noticeable, but definitely noticeable just enough, which I quite like. But now we're going to move on to the last one, which is black and white, which looks pretty nice in my opinion. So let's go to that. Now, this pack here gets interesting. For stars, you can look at the diamond block, which looks super cool. I mean, look at that. It could be almost using like a futuristic style thing. The gapples and armor looks absolutely amazing. The bow definitely works. I do like the contrast that the two textures of colors have. The fire, pretty nice fire. I don't know, the fire is very interesting. Pearl definitely looks nice. I really like this pearl. And the white going on the fishing rod in the animation definitely looks super cool in this one. As well as, as you can see, we got like a special little bobber down there, which I quite like. Now the sword has like these added white edges, which looks super great. As you can see, we got like this dark black bucket of water and lava, which I like as well. I think it works for sure. And also, we're just going to quickly go around and look at the blocks. They're all the same. Glass, we got all the glass like this. So that definitely is pretty cool. There's hardened clay. There's the mycelium. There's all the different stained clays, the melon, all the cool little blocks. These right there, you know. This is the enchant table. Definitely, the enchant table looks pretty nice. All the, um, the diamonds on the side are definitely changed per. And the anvils right here. Anvil looks very sick as well. And everything is transparent, gooey, so that way for PvP stuff. Now your hot bar, it's a little bit cool. I like the hot bar quite a bit, as you can see right here. You can scroll across, and you can pretty much easily tell what item you're using, which is great. And also the hearts in the black and white pack look great. But now, I'm going to tell you guys how to cite the pack in your descriptions of videos or streams if you were to use it. So, you want to make a video using one of the packs in the Vexture pack. Well, it's very simple. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go in the description. You're going to see an area where it says citation, and underneath it, there'll be a citation. All you have to do is simply copy and paste that exact citation into your description. Very easy. Feel free to use this pack. I think it looks very sick, and you guys should totally check it out. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in yet another video. Bye, everybody.